my beautiful angels, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, then definitely hit that subscribe button, join my family of Huns. My name is Imogen, and today we have a challenge video. A challenge video that I have taken on, which I don't think anyone else has done. It's a challenge I've accepted, I'm rising to it. Let's get on with it. We are doing 24 hours eating only pot noodle. <laughs> I should just quickly note that I am actually dairy free, gluten free and wheat free because I have a stomach condition so I can't eat the really fun normal pot noodles. I'll be having gluten free, wheat free, dairy free pot noodles from Tesco however hopefully they won't be fun and flavour free. Fingers crossed! <laughs> So angels, I've got my cap on, my jacket on, I'm ready for the day. We're gonna go to Tesco, we're gonna get the pot noodles which I'm gonna be demolishing for the next 24 hours. We need a breakfast, lunch, a dinner and another breakfast. So pot noodles in Tesco's, I'm coming for you. So we're in the free fun section in Tesco and I'm currently looking for the pot noodles. Please don't tell me there's only one flavour. No, 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 hun, no, hun. Princess, no. Princess, no. Being serious, there is actually only one flavour. There's got to be somewhere else other in the store. Okay, I'll get two of these. There's got to be other ones in the store. Let's go and have a look. Angels, I'm down the aisle, which says instant snack meals. That's what we want. And look, dun, dun, dun. There they are, the beautiful angels. There's so many different flavors. Look, they are gluten and dairy free. Thank you very much. There's Singapore styles. There's Vietnamese style beef. Oh my goodness. These say they're fat free. Okay, so I need four, so maybe I've got to put one of these back and then I'll get one sweet chili, one of these, and one of these, and that is four. Wonderful. Hans, I've had an absolute steal there. What are these? No, Imogen, won't be able to have them anyway. Right, let's do this. Putting this one back because we don't litter around here, you know, we love Tesco. Put her at the front. There she is. Love you. Love you, hun. You're cheaper. Love you. Here they are, my beautiful breakfast, lunch, and dinner and breakfast. Which one do I want to start with first? I mean, they all look so appetizing, especially at half eight in the morning. I think I'm going to have to go with these ones because I feel like that is the least amount of sort of flavor. I'm probably wrong, but I couldn't have curry to start with in the morning. I couldn't have beef and I couldn't have sweet chili. I'm going to have to have this one. This one it is. Okay, so we're going to boil the kettle. Get ready for my pot noodle and love my life. Oh, by the way, I'm really sorry about this top. I'm in my pajamas still and I slept in this, so. Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm so cringe. I wore this to some in the city, so let's just ignore me. They look bland, wonderful. But here we go. Here is the flavor of breakfast. I mean, I never ever thought I'd be eating something like this for breakfast ever in my life. It's always heartbreaking when you spill some of the powder because you're like, no, this isn't gonna be as flavorsome, you know? You know? I mean, the powder's gone everywhere, legit everywhere. It's currently 8.37 in the morning and here we are about to eat. I mean look, the top of it completely got destroyed. It said put the lid back on and leave it for four and a half minutes. Well I did and it's destroyed the lid. Anyway, I know you're all really jealous but we're about to eat Singapore rice noodles at 8.37 in the morning. Do you know what this reminds me of? When I go to the airport and see people eating caviar and sushi for breakfast and I'm like, oh, couldn't do that. Here I am, here I am, doing it, doing it for the tube. I'm joking, I'm so annoying, I'm so cringe, but you know. I do actually really like rice noodles, because they're really, oh, maybe I should just eat it. See that hot steam coming off it. I mean, the thing is, I do actually like noodles, and it's not really like a very strong taste. I could do with a bit of soy sauce in there, but it's fine. I mean, cheers to breakfast. Good morning, Huns. How has your morning been? Mine's great. Mine's absolutely wonderful. I think this is going to be a fine challenge though, because I do actually really like noodles. I find them quite filling, easy to eat, palatable. I mean, I prefer actual pot noodle, but your baby girl's got stomach condition, so gluten, dairy, and wheat-free, and apparently fat-free. Carbohydrate-free though, is it, hun? I don't care. <laughs> I'm not bothered. Right, so I'm just going to finish these, chill on my laptop, love my life, and we're good to go. Don't worry about us. Okay, so angels, I cannot eat any more. I've eaten most of it, to be fair. I was wondering why it wasn't very nice. It was like hot water and noodle. Not much flavor at all. That, my hands, is why all of the flavor is at the bottom. Like, I can literally pick up all of the, you know, the stuff I put in. At least I know for lunch that I really need to stir it properly before I eat. Definitely. I am only concerned about this challenge just because I really like snacking. Like, I don't think that 
A, I could ever have noodles ever again for breakfast, but also it's the lunch and dinners where I like to have a snack afterwards, like even if it's like a pack of pom bears or even if it's like a yogurt or some fruit, like it's only noodles for 24 hours. And then after dinner, I always have something sweet, like chocolatey, obviously dairy free chocolate, but you know what I mean. And sweets, oh no. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be lost without sweets. Well anyway, at least I did it, but you know what? I reckon the way I'm gonna get through this is by drinking a lot of water, because hopefully the water will fill me up and then I won't feel like I need that much. So the noodles will be fine, they'll be substantial enough, I won't need a sweet afterwards. Also, I can have squash, so squash could be like my sweet treat. Not exciting in the slightest. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna get ready for the day, put some makeup on, love my life, and then hopefully that'll take me into lunch. I'll film a little get ready with me on my Instagram, love my life, do what I need to do, come back, ready for lunch. Boom, boom, chitter, cha ching Hello my angels, I am back. It's currently lunchtime. It is currently 1.22. 1.22, so I've decided that I actually don't have to snack all day because normally by 1.22 I've eaten breakfast, lunch and snack. So this is really good actually for me. I put my makeup on, I decided to be a mermaid princess today. I'm wearing all white and I just thought, be bold, be bright, let's get hot noodle number two. Let's get some lunch. So, which one are we going to have? Are we going to have sweet chilli rice noodles? Are we going to have instant flavour rice noodles, curry flavour? Are we going to have Vietman Viet Vietnamese, there we go, style beef pho? Is that pho or po? We're going to go with beef, or is beef for dinner? I just feel like I could have sweet chilli in the morning and curry for the dinner. Yeah, let's do beef. Let's do beef. I'm currently in the car because I've got a lot of errands to run. I've got to go to PC World actually and sort my camera out and fix it. So I've bought, that didn't fall over me, didn't know. I've bought my wonderful, can we have a look at that one? Oh, I know. You're so super jealous. People are just walking past, probably thinking, who are you talking to? I'm talking to my best friends. You're probably like, oh my God, Imogen, why are you wearing all white and you're just about to eat beef noodles? Like what is actually happening? These smell dubious. They're actually the nicest. Oh, a bit of a kick. There is a little bit of a kick. Kick. These are actually the nicest ones so far. These are much nicer than the morning's one, but this is probably because I stirred it properly. But I just feel like I'm actually quite impressed with the level of fullness that those noodles gave me, considering I used to eat pot noodles when I was younger for fun. Like, I just loved it. I'd come from home from school, I'd still be full, and I'd eat a pot noodle because my mum really didn't like me eating pot noodles. She'd be like, they're so bad for you. She'd be like, did you eat today? I'd be like, yeah, really healthy at school. I'm so naughty. Oh, well, that's not really that naughty, is it? Imogen, the rebel, not really. Oh my God, these are actually so nice. These is my favorite flavor. That is actually so nice. Oh my goodness. I love the fact that rice noodles are so thin. I love rice noodles. I just think they're so like palatable, really easy to eat. They just kind of slide on in there, you know? Too much information probably, I know. Mmm. I'm really sorry if this is really weird, you watching me eat, I really apologize. But I'm actually impressed with this challenge so far because if I get to eat this, I mean, I'm hoping dinner, the curry one is the one I'm worried about because curry flavoured noodles, I associate curry with rice, not noodles. I love a good curry, but I haven't had a curry in ages. Right, so I'm just going to finish these quickly and then head off to PC World, try and get my camera fit. I'm not going anywhere near a supermarket today. My fiance called me and was like, can you get me some shower gel from Tesco when you go there? No, because the minute I go into Tesco, I know I'll be going to try and find sweets. And that is not happening because I'm not failing this task. I'm not failing it. Do you see how I called it a task? Because if I've actually been set a task, it's a challenge and you can fail it if you want, hun, but you're not going to. Also, Hans, this is what I was going to ask. What is your favourite pot noodle? Like, what is your favourite pot noodle? Let me know down in the description. I mean, I know you can probably eat normal pot noodles. So let me know. Oh, do you prefer super noodles or pot noodles? That's a question. That was my go-to pose when I was in year seven. That one and that one. Yeah, I loved it. I'm nervous about dinner because he's going to be eating. Then I'm going to look at his food and be like, I want that food. I think he's got a stir fry and I'm going to be like chilling my curry noodles. But I'm powering through. I've got this, haven't I? Have faith in you, girl, please. Angel, I just thought I'd pop in and see you, right? I didn't finish eating this because I was like, oh, I'm just going to drive to PC World, get there, and then maybe see if I'm still hungry. Because I wasn't actually that hungry. Like, I got like three quarters of the way through the pot and then I was like, oh, I don't know. Anyway, just drove past this woman and she had a Starbucks in her hand. Now, if you know me, then you know I am obsessed with Starbucks and every single day I have one. It's really bad, but it's my little like, it's really bad. I think I'm addicted. I'm just going to admit that now. Yeah, I will have two in one day if I could. 
so unhealthy i know let's just not talk about it but i saw someone with a starbucks in her hand and i was like i'm gonna cave i'm gonna cave i'm gonna cave so i was like okay finish this now so now i'm just finishing this oh my goodness no we're not best friends no we're actually not best friends oh my god look huns oh my goodness it's gone all over my trousers it's gone over my top I'm so bad. I get everything everywhere all the time. Still, I'm still going to enjoy it. What is wrong with me? Why do I always have to make everything, single piece of clothing of mine dirty? Okay, I'm just going to dab this off. Everyone in PC World's going to look at me like, what have you got down your white trousers? But it's fine. Let's go into PC World and sort my life out. And then I'll see you at dinner. Didn't realise there was someone in the car next to me. They must be like, what is going on? Just me eating my pot noodle. <laughs> I am filming a video right now and I'm really struggling. I'm not gonna lie, I'm finding it really hard. But I hope you're having a better day than I am. No, it's fine, it's fine. It is actually fine, I'm joking. I'm just being dramatic, just stick on. Oh my God, the smell of his stir fry in the background is literally killing me off. Like actually killing me off. To be fair, he's having noodles too, but just a bit more flavoursome noodles maybe, not a pot. But it is currently dinner time, so let's get dinner. Curry flavour, free from everything, but hopefully not free from flavour. Let's do it. Baby, you're going to be angry, but I actually can't sit the table with you. Like, all I can smell is your food, and I'm just like, I can't. I can't. I actually can't. I can't. I'm going to have to sit on the sofa, because the more I smell your food, the more I'm just, like, jealous. And I'm, like, smelling that aroma and then wanting it. Do you know what I mean? I just feel like I'm where I belong. Do you know what I mean, baby? On the floor, eating my curry noodles. Curry noodles. Is it nice? You should have got me a pot noodle. I'd have had it, wouldn't you? Would you? Yeah. Yeah, but you can have normal pot noodles. You can have the fun ones. I like king size. My verdict, ready? Can you have king size pot noodles? Yeah. What's your favourite flavour pot noodle? Chicken and mushroom. Oh, uh, yeah, the same. The green pot. Yeah, get everyone else to comment below what their favourite I did. I asked them earlier. Do you prefer super noodles or pot noodles? Pot noodle. Yeah. I used to like super noodles as well. How's your dinner? I'm real. Sorry, I'm quiet, but I'm just loving life. Oh my god. Oh my god, those ones are horrific. You know I said I like the beef ones? Yeah. I don't like this one. There's no flavour. Really? This is like the morning one, right? But the morning one I didn't stir all the flavour around. This is horrendous. I'm not trying to rub this, rub this, rub this in, mm -hmm. but I'm really enjoying the noodles of this. Are you? Mm. Oh my goodness. How am I going to last? Because you know I always have snacks after dinner. How am I going to last? <laughs> oh my goodness, that's awful. Save some of your noodles. Yeah, thanks. Have I actually stirred around it? Oh yeah, I have. I don't think you let it stand in the pot for a long time. I did, baby, I did. Right, so basically I'm just going to sit here and try and get through these noodles. Wonderful. How are you getting on? I can't, I can't, I can't. Hans, that is how much I've eaten, Hans. I've eaten like, I would say I've eaten two thirds. Yeah, you're doing well. No, baby, I can't eat anymore. I feel like I need to undo my jeans as well. Oh, oh my God, they're already undone. The zipper's undone. I didn't see anything, but. Flying low today then, Mills. I was flying very low, Han. I was flying very low. I can't eat anymore. I feel full. These were disgusting. Sorry, Tesco. I really do love you, but no. What were the other ones? Like 25p more and so much more flavoursome. Baby, I'm not even going to allow you to try some of these. I actually feel full, so that's a good thing. But I feel full because I wasn't enjoying it. Do you know what I mean? So I don't think I feel full in a good way. But it's fine. I'm going to sit down now and relax. What should we do? Watch some TV? Yeah, definitely. We're going to probably watch a home... Oh my God. That home programme we love is on. Yeah, I think it is tonight. It is! <laughs> you do it. He can do a really quick clap. Okay, well, Angels, I wouldn't recommend these ones, although most people watching would never try these ones anyway. But anyway, ignore me. They're, um, they're free from desire. They're free from desire. They're free from flavour. That is what they are. They're free from milk, wheat, and gluten, and they're also free from fun because they were not nice. Yeah. I love dinners normally. You get to sit, enjoy it, love your life, like you just did. I'm gonna drink squash for the rest of the evening because that is my sweet treat. And hopefully, I'll see you in the morning if I'm not craving things. See you in the morning. See you in the morning, hopefully. If, otherwise, I'll check in later and tell yeah. you how I'm feeling. Little hiccup there, baby. Right, see you in the morning. Or maybe see you in two hours when I'm like, I need chocolate. my beautiful angel faces it is such a nice sunny day outside it is currently 919 I love 919 I love 919 I got engaged at nine o'clock on the 9th of the first 
that's a one and a nine anyway ignore me but it's such a good day i have got a very exciting day which i'm vlogging today which will be a separate video because it's something which is so i can't even believe it and i might as well start the day right by having singapore noodles sweet chili edition you know you know so let's do breakfast the last and final pot noodle for a very long time you'll be pleased to know that i survived last night i had no snacks and loved my life however i laid on the couch and actually felt i was about to say sofa i normally call it sofa i laid on the sofa and was like i feel so full and stodgy and like just full of noodle hello my baby there is my little sweet chili rice noodle you're so cringe Imogen, shut up. Let's get the... Oh, shut up. You pour that flavour in, baby girl. You shake your laffy taffy. Go on then, sweet chilli. You better be good to mama. Here we are then, Hans. There she is. Looking brilliant. Looking great. She smells very nice. So what's this one? Sweet chilli rice noodles. Does it say anything else? Instant rice noodles with a sweet chilli sauce. Sweet spicy chilli sauce. Sorry. Oh, God, I'm worrying. Red pepper, spring onion and jalapeno pepper I'm slightly worried about that because i can't handle any spice in the slightest but i've got a really long journey ahead of me today not a really long journey to be fair not a really long journey i'm going somewhere with my best friend benny um who you haven't met yet but you're gonna meet soon i've been friends with him since i was 15 so like 11 years now but we're driving somewhere very exciting together so this hopefully will see me through till lunchtime I'm just trying to work out if it's spicy or not normally spice kicks in afterwards it's not that's flavoursome. I'm going to see if I've got more at the bottom. It's nice, but I guess I think it's so fat free because it doesn't have a lot of sugar. You know, like pot noodles sometimes are really sweet and they're nice because they're sweet. I think this one's more like, I don't know, not so sure. Mm. Okay, I take it back. That's really nice. I take it back. That's really nice. I have actually whirled it around at the bottom. Goodness, what happened there? Do you hear that? Someone's skidding in the morning. Jeez Louise, if you're driving like that in the morning, these are really nice. It says it's got a brand promise. A brand promise for what? Oh, that it's gluten and dairy free for allergens. Really good brand. If you do have any problems with like wheat or gluten, or if you are, you know, completely allergic like me, then definitely try this brand because it's really nice. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm probably not going to look at another pot noodle for like about two months because I've had four in 24 hours, slightly over the top. And the thing is with me, I'm just going to have another bite and then I'll tell you. The thing is with me, I do overdo everything. I'm like the radio. When I like something, I overdo it. Like, I'll overplay a song if I'm obsessed with it. I'll overeat a specific chocolate bar that I'm obsessed with. Like, if I find a dessert place in Brighton where I can get, like, a gluten-free, dairy-free, wheat-free dessert, I'll go there every day and be like, I need that dessert every day. Like, I get obsessive with things. I do have that kind of obsessive personality where if I like something, I'm like, I'm going to do that every day. But 24 hours of four different things... I think I've overworked myself already, Hans. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to like some YouTube comments, go through that, and then chill and eat the rest of my uh, pot noodles away. Just a quick side note, I literally love reading through your comments, and like when you speak to me, I just feel so grateful. I'm like, thanks for even watching my video, but let alone even commenting to me, and just, I just feel so grateful. Anyway, I'm going to finish this now. I've really enjoyed this challenge. I actually really have, because it's been something which i didn't think i could do because i thought oh no i feel sick and also it's quite nice because a lot of the challenges i see i can't do because of my stomach so i feel like this one's a good one please definitely give this a thumbs up if you like me doing 24 hour challenges if you've got any more you want me to do then definitely let me know down the description i have got so many videos planned with my family like good good content challenges fun videos something really exciting coming up in the next couple of weeks so make sure you stay tuned by hitting that subscribe button because i'm about to show you so much of my life and i'm so excited so make sure you join the family of hans i love you all so much thank you for so much for joining me on this video i'm actually quite proud of myself pat yourself on the back you know that you know that girl you've got to have your back you know okay stop i'm so annoying i love you so much until next time i'm gonna love you and i'm gonna leave you i love you bye